T to the V to the L to the I to the N to the E, TV line. Nathan Fillion, welcome back. Thank you. Good to have why you am here. I, why am I yelling? I Thank don't know. You. you don't have to scream at me. Right. Castle. Yes. Translate for oh, us. Oh, I was answering to the, I thought you were talking to me. Translate for us the showrunner switch. What does it mean? What doesn't it mean? It, it means we're, we uh, uh, remain in, in very capable hands. David Amon has, has been there for, for years. Uh, he's been uh, Andrew Marlowe's right-hand guy in a lot of ways. Um, he's uh, ever-present. Uh, he knows exactly what's going on. He's written some of my favorite episodes. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's an opportunity for some recognition for all the hard work he's been doing, and also uh, taking a little bit off of Andrew's play. Andrew has been overworked, mm -hmm. to say the least. So I think they're just going to try to balance out the distribution of uh, responsibilities just to just to make it easier for everybody. Andrew told us that the resolution of the car crash cliffhanger will set, open up a new line of mythology for the show. Do you think it's sort of overdue for some new mythology? I don't know about overdue, but we certainly have a point of, okay, what now? I mean, we've covered some ground as far as uh, uh, the two characters coming together, pulling apart, coming together, pulling apart. We've done that a number of times for, for I think, wonderful reasons. Uh, we needed... Uh, we need a new reason to come back and face a new season. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, so good. We're, we're, we're filming yep, the first episode right now. Did you know what the resolution of the car crash was going to be? You know, was he in the car? Was he not in the car? Did he die? Did he not die? Does he come back horribly disfigured? Horribly disfigured. <laughs> he turns into a supervillain. These questions were on my mind. Um, people ask me if I, if I was worried at all. <laughs> um, I wasn't really worried. Okay. And I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be a new mythology. I think it's going to be... Uh, Hey, I can, I can literally tell you nothing. Are we going to get a wedding this season? That's a good question, too. And if so, it's not going to be in the Hamptons, because I feel like that's already been... We made people wait a long time for these two characters to finally get together. Now they're together. How much longer can we make people wait for a wedding, I think, becomes my question. You don't want people to become bored in the waiting. Mm-hmm. Are you done? <laughs> Did you see that I had another thought there? I thought there might be. You're, you're absolutely right. I kind of ditched it. But here's what I, I was the one of the guys who said, no, no, totally don't get them together because then people will stop watching. And uh, remember how wrong I was about that? How long do you see the show going? Um, Bones just is entering its 10th season, just FYI. Wow. I got to say, that's a lot of hard work. Yeah. I think maybe David Boranis would be a good person to go talk to about that. I'm gonna ask him about that stuff. This is the, this, here's the thing. I can't shake a stick at what we've got. Uh, this is the longest I've ever been employed. It's just, uh, it's, it's uh, crazy to me. I've been doing this coming on 20 years and I'm still having firsts all the time. And this is a, a continual first. Every day that we're, we're on is a, a record for me. I heard that you're gonna be voicing the new Firefly game. Yeah, we did. We did it. We did that. We did that. Yeah, we How did was that? that. It was good. It was fun to be back in those uh, characters again. It was, um, uh, it was, I think, well written. It's nice. I think it's going to be fun. I, it's a little adventure. You get to go out and you have your own adventure, do your own thing. And periodically you can meet up with the characters that you know that make this universe a reality for a lot of, a lot of people. Uh, and just lastly, you were on Community last season. Any TV shows on your wish list that you'd like to make an appearance on? The only disadvantage to getting on shows that you are uh, crazy about is uh, the spoilers. That's mm. the disadvantage, there's, there's the spoiler factor. And here's the danger of putting out a wish list. Then it goes online that Nathan wants to be on these shows. Yeah, and that's my headline to yeah, this video yeah. already. So people run with that stuff. There are shows out there that I just, I truly love because they transport me uh, as, as an audience. I'm pretty picky about what I watch, and I'm very particular about acting and production value and gosh, just choices, writing. I get very particular, and if it's not good, it pulls me out, and I, and I can't enjoy. I can't watch it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not on a journey. I'm not distracted for that. My entertainment, I want it to pull me away. Um, the Walking Dead does that for me. Game of Thrones does that for me. Um, I would hate to go there and and you'd be literally kind of pulling it apart at the seams and just kind of ruining the whole mythos for yourself. I can completely picture these places as real places. I can suspend that belief and have a really good time. So no, there are no shows that I love that I would want to be on.
I want to keep them sacred. Can I at least just say that you're eyeing or circling a role on Game of Thrones? <laughs> uh, no, because then I would have to come up with a, with a proper accent, and I really... My, my only accent, uh, my English accent, is uh, stuff I learned from Monty Python. So okay. it's usually high-pitched like a woman's and not really appropriate.